Hello, I'm Alex Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about the portal alias feature in .NET Nook. So, I will be explaining what portal alias means, what portal alias is in .NET Nook. So, here is our development site. What I'm going to do, I'm going to log into the site, to the back end, as host level. And if I go to admin site settings, there is an area, if I scroll down, that is, that is called advanced settings. I will expand that. And then I'll expand where it says portal aliases, right here. So this is a portal alias. Portal alias is an address that you can, uh, a URL that you can uh, access this particular website, this particular instance of .NET Nook. So in our case, this is a local host site. So it's installed in my local computer. And this sub folder, the, the, the child portal is called a DNN551. So this is my alias to this website. Now, let me give an example of how we could set up another alias for the same site. Let's, let me give an example. If I take this URL and I open another tab and I would, let's say that I want to access the same site via another URL. Let's say that it's dot net nuke 551. If I type in, it will give me an error because this site is not responding to this address yet. So there are two things that I need to do in my local computer to make sure that this new alias will work. First thing is I have to get this URL and set it up under portal alias of this site. So I'm go just going to click add new alias. When I click here, I can paste that address. I will remove the HTTP and here's my new alias. I'm going to just save it. So as far as DNN is concerned, this site will be able to respond for localhost slash DNN551 and localhost slash .NET Nook 551. If I try that now, let's have a look, see how it goes. I still get the same error because we there are two elements that we need to change. One is we change the HTTP alias in .NET Nook, but this is not enough. We also have to go to IIS and tell IIS that it should redirect requests to this address to the same site instance that is already there. So I'm going to open IIS, Internet Information Services. Here is IIS. I'm going to add a new application to my site. And again, this is a child portal. So I'm going to add a new one, new application, and I'm going to call it .NET Nook 551. The physical path will be the same as the one that is already there called DNN 551. So I'm just going to locate that now in my computer. So it's under inetpub right here. I'm going to expand www root. I'm going to make it point to DNN 551. The same one as it was already set up there. So we are basically creating an, an alternative URL to the same site. So let's click OK. So the new one is here. Now, if I go back to my browser and if I refresh the page, that site should come up. OK, so as you can see, the site came up and it is the same as this one. So now we have created another alias for the same site. So now this site can be accessed via this URL, which ends at DNN551, or this URL, which ends at .NET Nook 551. So we have created multiple alias. We have created multiple ways of accessing, multiple URLs of accessing to access this website. Now, we have done this with a child portal. So as you can see, those are child portals. Those are slash... Uh, the main domain slash child portal. Now, 
we can also do that in a parent portal level as well. I'm just going to give a simple example with my live site. If I flip here, we have the same setting under portal aliases. Now, it's my site is, you can access it via www.dnnhere.com or dnnhere.com. But if I decided to have another domain pointing to the same site, I can just click add new alias. And I can add another site.com here. So this would be another domain, another way of another domain that could access the same site. Now, one thing that you have to be aware is that to make another URL, another domain access the same site, like I'm trying to do here, you have to make sure that first of all, you have registered this, this domain, that the DNS of this domain in the registrar is pointing to your uh, um, hosting provider DNS and that your hosting provider has also made this new domain point to the same site as, as the one that already exists. So basically portal alias is a way to have multiple URLs pointing to the same site, accessing the same site at the same time. Okay. So that's, that's about it. This is what portal alias is and how you can go about using it. Thank you very much. Bye for now.